Freighters. It's Miss Street. I hope you're having like the best Friday ever. Jesse said, it's the weekend. I mean, it's been like the weekend for the past <laughs> months, but it's fun. We're excited. Who's ready to super ties? What'd you see? Got super ties like double. So six groups of four in each group. So our factors are six and four. Our product is 24. That's repeated equal addition. So we could say four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four. Say that five times fast. All right, Miss Street's going to skip because I know you know the pattern. <laughs> Two groups of five. Where's my hand? I don't know. Two groups of five. You know. I want you to be sure and remember that when we look at this in the commutative property, we talk about uh, 2 and 5 is 10 and 5 and 2 is 10, and that's true, um, but they have the same value, but they're totally different stories. So would you rather um, go swimming for two days for five hours or go swimming five days for two hours? That's different. Check it out. I'm trying to skip a bunch. Because I know you know. Ooh, ready? Three groups of six. Three and six. What are our factors? Three and six. The product is 18. Hoorah. Hallelujah. I think the rain is going to stop, but I think we're going to have some cloudy weather. But that's okay, because later we can say, um, I can see clearly now the rain is gone when the sun comes back out. I think that's going to be next Wednesday. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Okay, so we are finishing up our rainy problem because that's what Miss Street wants to do, be done with the rainy problem. Um, but we've learned a lot. And yesterday, uh, Miss Street wasn't sure if I answered one of our questions, questions, questions correctly. So I went back to check and we did. Fist bump. Okay. So, oh, Miss Street is getting old, y'all. You have no idea. So our, I've got our um, standard way up here because you should know it by now. And I'm not using the words compose and decompose. Mm-hmm. Compose and decompose. And Miss Street really, really, really is going to try hard, hard, hard to do that today. Um, so represent equivalent fractions with area and length models. Area models. Bam. Length model. Hoorah. Um, we have to know that whole numbers up to four is fractions. Come on, Miss Street, you can do this. Um, meaning... Um, four fourths has the same value as one. Five fourths is bigger than one. So we have to be able to see fractions um, can be greater than one. And we also have to know oh, if the numerator and the denominator has the same um, number, then they both equal one whole. So yesterday we talked about trees. I don't know. Mm, let's talk about, I don't know. A flower bed. So this is a fourth of roses. This is a fourth of daisies. This is a fourth of weeds, because that's what Miss Street would have. <laughs> and this is a fourth of um, I don't know, roses, daisies, tulips. We'll call it tulips. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four fourths. That's one whole flower garden. Okay. And again, I'm just leaving this visual up here so we can see what we just talked about. I'm not going to waste time talking about it forever and a day. Okay. So here's our problem. Miss Street's class. That's you guys. Hey, welcome to my class. I'm so glad you're here. Um, we wanted to predict the amount of rain that fell over the week. So we made predictions. But again, um, this is not real. Miss Street didn't really go out and do this, okay? I'm just, it's a made-up problem I got. True story. Um, the chart below shows their data. Well, the chart on the wall shows their data. So we looked at, did more rain fall on Sunday or Tuesday? And we showed that with our um, number line here. One-fourth fell on Sunday. 
Tuesday only one eighth fell, so we know that Sunday had more rain than Tuesday. Our next question, which day had less rain? It's a comparison problem. If you remember, parts equal total. Comparison. Mm -hmm. Repeated equal groups. Okay. Um, compare Monday or Wednesday. So then we remembered our related fractions. How in third grade we only talk about halves, thirds, fourths, eighths. And six, I got that all jumbled. Um, and we know that halves, fourths, and eighths are related. And we know that thirds and sixths are related. And they're related by half. Because if you take a half and partition it in half, you get a fourth. If you take a fourth and partition it in half, you get, mm -hmm, has the same area as, value as one eighth. Same as one third. If you have one third, partition it in half, you get one sixth. Okay? We've done that a lot. Um, and yesterday, our question was um, Member Brian erased what was on Friday, and Jesse said he got a whipping with the belt. I really didn't whip him with a belt because <laughs> he's like, you know, he's my husband. He's like a cuddly, friendly marshmallow teddy bear. Anywho, and it's really supposed to be that way because that was the problem. So um, we looked at if Friday and Thursday were equal, um, then what could Friday be? And we were able to see here Thursday we had four eighths. So we labeled that Thursday. And so we know what, what equals the same or has the same value as four eighths is one half. So we know that would be a one. So Miss Street double checked before I put it on here because I didn't. Oh, well, there went that one. Miss Street did not want to uh, tell us wrong. And I'm OK to make mistakes. It's really OK. I can come back and we can we can fix it. That's the beauty of math. OK, last question for this problem. Hallelujah. Hopefully this this rain problem, rainy problem will help us um, the rain go away. OK, and come again like another day next year. <laughs> Just kidding. OK, so what is another way to record the amount of rain that fell on Saturday? Saturday. Use mm -hmm, objects, drawings, a number line, hoorah, um, or words to explain why you can represent the measurement in more than one way. So let's take a look at what fell on Saturday. Four sixths. Okay. So remember, Miss Street's always, always, always going to start with my burr, 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 fraction bars because they help Miss Street see. They help Miss Street see the fractions. So I'm trying to find the same value as four sixths. So I know when I'm thinking about, when I'm thinking about, my related fractions that I'm working with thirds and sixths. Okay. So Saturday was four six. So if I put this down as my one hole, that's my one whole inch of rain. Okay. So on Saturday, it only rained four six of a whole inch. So it didn't even rain a whole inch. I mean, I think it really did. But again, this is just fiction. OK, um, four, six. And our question is, what is another way to record the amount of rain that fell on Saturday? So let's see. Hmm. Four, six. We could do. I know thirds are related, so I'm going to do thirds. Try th oh, Miss Street sees it. Do you see it? How else could we write it? Two thirds has the same area as one sixth. I'm telling you guys, because we have been practicing our related fractions, we know this news and I'm really proud of us. So let's look on our number line and I bet you we can already see it because we've already done this. So proud of us. Kiss your brain. Kiss my brain. Way to go, Miss Street. I know, right? Okay. Hang on. Okay, get you around around town. So we're going to use, I'm going to use mm, orange maybe? Haven't used orange. So our question was, um, what is the same amount of rain? How could we show the same amount of rain that fell on Saturday? That's four sixths. 
So I know I've, I need to use this number line that is related fractions of thirds and sixths. Um, so four sixths, here it is. Same value as what? Two thirds. So I could say um, two thirds. My poster fell again. It's fine. Um, two thirds. Yeah, I'm having a moment. Where's my paper? I don't know. There it is. Um, we could say um, that two thirds is another way to record the amount of rain that fell on Saturday. So it could be we could say four six or we could say two thirds. They have the same value um, in how much rain fell. OK, so Miss Street has enjoyed this lesson with you. Um, I do have new lessons for third grade NF3 um, because this standard mystery is going to I'm telling you we're going to hover here. We're going to make sure we fully understand before we move on. Hope you guys have the best weekend ever, even though it might be cloudy. It's OK. Have fun with the clouds. I love you guys. I'll see you on Monday which makes me want to sing Monday, Monday, ba-da, ba -da, can't trust that day. Maybe Monday will be really good. See you. Have a good weekend.